native doctor Rafiu Afolabi has narrated how Christopher Akman, the fiance of an officer of Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Josephine Onche, allegedly killed the woman for morning ritual. Afolabi, a 67 year old man from Shaki, Oyo State, said after killing Onche, Akman offered him 5 million naira to silence him, but he was only given 50,000. Afalabi narrated the story after operative of the intelligence response team of the Nigerian police force recently arrested him and Akman for alleged murder. Onche's family on December 20, 2019 declared the 45-year-old missing after going to the market to buy some items for a wedding about 18 months later. Her remains were found on May 27, 2021 in a shallow grave near Okpo, Otil, local government area of Benue State. The police said it was a case of conspiracy and adoption, stating that investigation revealed Onche's last communication took place in Afalabi's house in Adon, Obi, local government area of Benue State. According to Punch, the native doctor relocated to his hometown in Oyo State a few days after Onche went missing. Afalabi said he met Akman when he went to Onche's house sometimes in 2019 to give her some concussion to avoid late pregnancy after a marriage to Akman. The native doctor said the deceased first visited him in 2019 to get concussion that would make her business prosperous. Afalabi said, In 2019, the late Josephine came to my shrine in company with one man. She sold mortar and pesto and needed my help so that the business would flourish. I collected 14,000 naira for the job and asked her to return in three days. When she returned, she told me of her plans to get married. She asked me to prepare medicine for her so that she would get pregnant quickly. I took the medicine to her house and it was there that I met her fiance on December 19, 2019 at about 6.30 p.m. I saw her and her fiance in Oktobo. Akman later came to my shrine and told me he wanted to use her for money ritual. He said he would give me 5 million naira for me to be silent. At about 10 p.m. on a later day, we met inside the forest with Josephine. I never knew Akman had a gun with him. He brought out a cloth, spread it on the ground, and asked her to kneel down for prayers. Before I could understand what was going on, he shot her on the head. He quickly grabbed a calabash and poured some of the blood gushing out from her head into the calabash. I am home, got a hole, and we dug a shallow grave and buried her. When we left the forest, I asked him to bring the five million naira that he promised, and he promised to give me after eight days. He came to my house later that night and gave me only 50,000 naira. He asked me to be patient to collect the balance. However, Akman, a 57-year-old father of five from Akwaibom State, denied killing the NSCDC officer, saying he loved her very much. He said, on December 17, 2019, she visited me in Akwaibom State and left on December 19, 2019. On December 23, 2019, her elder brother called me and told me that Josephine was missing. I panicked, but my brother told me to calm down. And I visited the family, but they said I should hold on a bit. I was later arrested and I have kept telling them that I am innocent. Before my arrest, I went to the motor park where Josephine bought, bought the bus to Akwaibom State. I saw her name on the manifest. She even used my name as a nest of kin. I was surprised when the police came and arrested me. The next thing I saw was a man who introduced himself as Abfolabi and said I contracted him to use Josephine for a money ritual. On May 27, 2021, the police took me into the forest where Afalabi claimed that we buried my late fiancé. In my life, I have never entered such a thick forest before. And now someone is insisting that I came this very far to bury Josephine, who I love so much. Meanwhile, Akwan said he met Afalabi once in 2017 and not in 2019. I had visited my fiancé and helped her to drop off a bag of charcoal at Afalabi's house. That was the first and the last time that I met him, he said.